I, I was delighted when you wanted me to uh, provide a service for you. And the good news is I didn't have to work too hard because I had a mess that I had already prepared for uh, another congregation, actually for several, because it seems to be a pretty good message right now. Yeah. And I prepared it for another congregation I visited before, and you're going to share it with your community. So while it is pre-recorded, it's very much a message I believe in, which is that we are at a place as a nation, spiritually, that is still recovering from a number of crises that have accumulated over decades. One that, ha one that have accumulated in such a way that we have found it very difficult to look at them square on and face them as the challenges they are to our identity as a nation. Right. Uh, I uh, use uh, 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 some insight from Walter Brueggemann, who is a, uh, a progressive Christian biblical scholar who will appear at the end of that sermon. And I won't give it away because I want people to hear it. Uh, but he says there are three prophetic tasks for the church. And I think he means not just Christians, but all communities of religious communities of goodwill. And uh, one that I addressed straight on is that we, uh, we as a nation uh, are prone to illusions that we believe in that prevent mm -hmm. us from seeing reality. And that when we can rid ourselves of those illusions, sometimes called the American dream, which I think is in many respects an illusion, if not a delusion, uh, when we can do that, we will have to face some of the sadness and loss and grief that comes with a history as long and complicated as ours as a nation. Mm -hmm. But I predict that if we have the nerve to do it and that religious communities have a role to play in doing it, that we have a possibility for a future that's greater than the one that we now believe in. That's what it really comes down to. Yeah.